for our system, we're going to be using two main protocols of communication between the microcontroller and the Raspberry Pi and all the various sensors. We're going to be using I squared C for communication between the ras between the Arduinos and the various sensors, which is a two-wire protocol. It's compatible with most sensors out there on the market, and the message format for communicating with I squared C is usually defined by the sensors, and it's a half-duplex. Uh, protocol. For communicating between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduinos, we're going to be using SPI, which is a four-wire protocol with separate slave select. And it's higher bandwidth than I squared C, and it's a full duplex protocol. And due to limitations on the Arduino do that we've chosen to as our Arduino, we can only have a maximum of a 16-bit message length in SPI. And the Arduino library provided by the creators of the Arduino does not provide any SPI slave functionality. So we've decided that we're going to go with a 16-bit message length with a 4-bit register address and an 8-bit data. We're going to have to pass multiple messages sequentially each time each slave is selected by the master. And overall, the progress on the communication protocols is nearly complete. The interrupt handler for the Arduino sl do slave is complete and we have the initial framework for the I2C master. We just need to test the SPI protocol handler and then further test the I2C framework with each sensor.